You guys didn't ask for it, but you're getting it anyway. Hey YouTube, Mr. Twister here. I'm going to be showing you how to do the basics. Um, yeah, my first two videos, they were a little bit complicated for, well, beginners. So, and, yeah, I, I'm going to show you guys how to make some basic stuff. Show you how to do the basic twists. Don't know how it's how long it's going to take you guys to learn it. It took me about 45 minutes. It took my mom six and a half months. She hates me for that. Anyway, we got all these balloons that I'm going to be turning into different stuff for you. First off, the basic of the basic. We're going to be making do, or we're going to be making a dachshund or a wiener dog using a orange. 260Q. Doesn't matter how long you blow it up. It can be any length. Burp it a little bit so that it doesn't explode on you to tie it off. Alright, now, what we're going to be starting off with is a eight finger bubble. And the way that I do it, I always hold on to the part that I, uh, that I twist. I hold this still and I twist with my right, I always twist it towards myself. And I hold on to this with my pinky, make a four finger, or four finger bubble, go down like so, make another four finger bubble, twist those together like this, so that we have this. Now you take this, put the point right here, Push with the heel of your hand and roll back with your fingers, so that way this comes out right here until about there. There we have the head. Okay, make a one inch bubble. Make two two finger bubbles. The same way that you made the ears. Push those together like so. Go back here, do the same thing, make two two finger bubbles. Put those together, string things out, and we have a wiener dog. Awesome. Next, a poodle. Actually, make it out of purple instead of green. This one doesn't need as much as the wiener dog. Make about a, a seven finger bubble. Now, this one is going to take three one inch bubbles. Saw how I twisted that, right? And how they're not coming apart. Always twist the same direction. Then those over or fold that over, twist those together. And much like with the wiener dog, you're going to take this part, put it right here. Again, push with the heel of your finger or the heel of your hand and roll back with your fingers. And then we got the head. Make one inch bubble. Make this one is not going to get two two or two finger bubbles. This one's going to get two finger bubble, two one inch bubbles, and another two finger bubble. Like so. We already got the two finger bubble. Make the two one inch bubbles. Like so and the two finger bubble, like so, Morse code. Then, twist those together like that. Straighten that out, one inch bubble, and then do the same thing that you did with the front legs. Two finger bubble, two one inch bubbles, and a two finger bubble. Fold over, twist those together, and there we got it's almost done. This right here. Now, how you do this is you hold it under here, or you put pressure on this. You put pressure on this part right here, and you squeeze from the bottom up, making sure that it doesn't blow up right here. You want it. You want this to inflate, like that. There we have a poodle. Let's see what next. Oh, a giraffe. 
I'm going to be using a golden rod. Being that giraffes have, normally have long necks, it's going to be a little bit longer than the dachshund. The way that I do this, I start off with two pinch twists. That's a pinch twist. Whenever you're starting off with a pinch twist, you want to tuck the tail, or you want to tuck the, the nozzle in between, or underneath. That way it ties it off and it doesn't come undone. The second pinch twist, like so. Then, fold it, run it in between, and straighten that out. There we have the muzzle. Make two one inch bubbles, or two finger bubbles, whatever you want. Whatever you feel comfortable with. And there we have the head. Make a long neck. Put a pinch twist for the chest. Full finger bubble. Another four finger bubble, like so. Run those together. Two inch bubble or a one inch bubble. Another pinch twist. Now notice, it's fully inflated. It's still kind of soft, which is just fine. Make two more four inch bubble or four finger bubbles. Run that in. There we have a giraffe. What else should oh, peas in a pot. That's what I got the green out for. This is a little bit more this is a little trickier, okay? After I do the piece in the pot, I'm going to get a clear bubble, and I'm going to show you how to make them through the clear bubble so that you can actually see inside. But the way that we do this, the way that I'm going to show you how to do it right now, make a one-inch bubble, take the tail, tuck it underneath, and carefully push this in, making sure that it doesn't like pop out this way or that way. Once it's inverted or inverted you push in with either your middle finger your thumb your forefinger whichever one you feel comfortable with breaking up a loom you grab at the um, you grab in between the ball and your finger the tip of your finger you hook your finger pull it back and what you wind up with is something that'll hit you in the face if you're aiming it down and it'll bounce up a ball this is a balloon. Now, reach over here. Clear balloon. Don't know how well this is going to show up. You can probably see the gloss. That's great. Getting the thumbs up from my or from the camera guy. All right. Now, act as though I just twisted this. I tucked in the balloon or tucked the tail in. Alright, now push it in like so. This is what it looks like inside the balloon that you originally do this with. You grab in between the ball and your finger. You hook your finger back and you break it off. That's what you get. That is called a pea in a pot. It's great for making eyeballs, um, a pea shooter, um, just a whole lot of different stuff.
see that? Can you see inside there? Awesome. And there we have it. And that is how you make pea and pot. Now, on to some somewhat more technical or advanced twists than the regular ones. I'm going to be showing you how to make the pinch twists, double pinch twists, and the half pinch twists. So, this is a single pinch twist. Make a one inch bubble, grab the tail, twist that together, take the tail, and tuck it underneath so that it doesn't come undone. That is single pinch twist. Double pinch twist is when you make a single pinch twist and another single pinch twist right behind, right beyond it. Like that. A half pinch twist I'm going to go ahead and make a single bubble right here. Alright. A half pinch twist is when you make a pinch twist and then you twist that like so. You normally do this whenever you are making, or I normally do this whenever I'm making like arms or something for some of the characters that I make. Make another pinch twist. This is going to be a triple pinch twist. You can pretty much make. You can keep on making pinch twists as long as you have enough room around it. And there's a triple pinch twist, which I normally use for like making flowers and stuff. Another one with bubble, some more pinch twists. There's a four pinch twist, or a, a four leaf clover pretty much. Put another pinch twist in there. And another. And there we have six pinch twists. It's a drill. <laughs> Whatever. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Oh, the bird body. Thought I heard a leak. All right, so starting this off with a pinch twist. Make four inch bubble. Make another pinch twist. Five inch or a five finger bubble pinch twist. Then you run it up into the second pinch twist. Make another four inch or a four finger bubble. Run that into the first pinch twist. Run this down to the second pinch twist. Okay, and I'm going to be using red to finish this off. Bird bodies are pretty much three bu or three sausage bubbles or finger bubbles. I'm using red to give it a um, well, a belly. And there's a bird body, and there's a bird body without feet. And there we 
have a patriotic penguin. If you like the video, hit the like, subscribe. Um, if you feel like it, go ahead and hit that little that little bell that I think and I think it's right there. Um, get notified that I am that I'm coming out with new stuff when I make new stuff. Um, going to try to make as many of these as possible. Um, again, leave a comment, like, subscribe if you liked it, um, and. Also suggestions on what you would like to see me make. Later, guys.